What's going on? It's Fist bringing you the news like I do. Major Black Ops 2 patch update inbound. The PS3, the Xbox, across the board. It's already live on the PS3. I will be doing other videos other than this one today. But the PS3 patch version, major patch, is already live. It just has to wait for a number amount of people to download it for it to go active. There's a difference. Active live, active live. And then it's on Xbox as well, which will happen later this weekend. But I have tons of information to, to feed you guys this weekend because Fist brings you the news, keeping it real like I do. So let's go ahead and get it started because all I'm going to cover is the gameplay balance issues the most important thing that why you come to my channel we're talking about multiplayer balance issues where did these where did these nerfs where did these patch where did these buffs come from my opinions and how i think that they were implemented into the game how the, how how they will change the game excuse me and uh, most importantly my opinions based on those changes so let's go ahead and get to started score streaks UAV cost increase from four from 350 to 425. You're gonna need to kill a couple more people, shoot a couple more landmines, whatever. It costs more. What does that mean? It means that less UAVs. That means the game's gonna move a little bit more slower. And then when I go through these lists, you'll start to see a picture start to develop into which way the developers want the game to go. Now, I think that. Uh, this is important because, you know, in past Call of Duty, the games didn't move this fast. And when you add such a huge change to the game, you, you can cut off a, p a large part of the community. And the most important thing to me <clears throat> is not to lose a, a part of the community that's growing, thriving. You want to keep those people around. But it, it, it's, it has its pros and cons. I mean, it's going to slow the game down. People are used to being fast, but it's going to slow it down now. Lightning strike uh, added 750 millisecond delay. Now a second is a thousand milliseconds, so it's almost a second. What had happened before? You would have the light lightning strike, which was instantaneously. You'd see them on the map. You put the little circles down. Boom! You kill them. They spawn. Another dude could have it on team. Boom! Kill it. And it would kind of it was kind of overpowered, and it would change the game. So I think this is a somewhat of a good um, a good decrease of a nerf. So equipments and grenades, bouncing Bettys, increased the grace period between trigger and activation by 200 milliseconds. So before, if you had the C4, like for example, you throw the C4, you would have a detonator, you'd have to press the button to explode the C4. That was the difference between, you know, a bouncing Betty, which you threw and it took some time to launch, but you didn't have to sit around for the activator. But in this, before this buff and before this uh, uh, nerf, is that you could just throw the bouncing Betty and you wouldn't have to you wouldn't need a detonator and it would just go off instantaneously on the side note of this is that uh, we could see in black ops 2 in my opinion that dolphin diving and drop shining has completely been nerfed out of this game so when you have a 200 millisecond delay on a bouncing Betty you know it gives you some time to get down if you see one before you just couldn't get down because you know you could be running and you see it and you're like oh no and you dolphin dive and you go past it or if you know in this game you got to stop and then drop shot and then by the time you do that you're dead the bouncing betty goes off so i i see the pluses and minuses there sensor grenade increased range now a thousand units 360 frequency now 800 milliseconds between pings and the amount of time now six seconds the player appears after explosion I really don't care about this I don't use them um, all they're saying is they don't want it to be like the sensors in black ops 1 um, that's basically about it concussion grenades decrease the movement penalty and turn penalty when hit thank god you know what I was tired of people throwing concussion grenades in the distance which they hit you it was like somebody throwing a sub-zero super ice clone at you and you couldn't even move I'm glad that they decreased the movement penalty and the and the and the uh, turn speed penalty those things were annoying they, they uh, slowed down the game and they should only be in like league play and, and whatnot next thing we're going to talk about is the SMGs this is very interesting and so let's go ahead and get started on these 
Now the SMGs, we talked about this and um, I'm going to talk later about some other stuff in my next video about this YouTube money thing and how it pertains to this and, and why I think this was changed. This is a more in depth than just, you know, talking about buffs and nerfs. Anyways, um, all increased rip, uh, hip fire recoil. So every single SMG now has increased hip fire recoil. So now if you're going to shoot from the hip, you need to use a laser to decrease the, the recoil or not decrease the recoil. No, you can't. You can't do anything to decrease the recoil because you have to have a grip to aim down the sights to re reduce e recoil. So now you have to aim to shoot with the SMGs. You just can't shoot off the hip, which was ridiculous. I got killed by an SMG like... I don't know, 30 feet off the hip, a headshot, which I'm kind of glad they did this. But in the same sense, you have to realize this ties in with the UAVs. Less UAVs, more uh, people camping, less people moving. The game is going to slow down. All increased max hip fire spread from 4.75 to, to 5. So we're talking probably like units. We're talking like centimeter units um, in range. I don't know if this is in depth or range. It doesn't. It doesn't really specify. Increase map max hip fire spread. Okay, yeah. So it's spread. So it's gonna have to be um, uh, range from left to right instead of instead of uh, instead of depth. So you're gonna be uh, you, you know you're not gonna be able to just spray people. Once again, it's going to um, slow the game down. All reduced bullet penetration. So, I mean, I, really, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're not going to be able to shoot through rocks and woods with the SMG. They only shoot 9mm anyway, so don't expect that. I didn't expect that. Anyhow, that was a gift. Now, uh, <clears throat> increased recoil, period, on the MSMC, and increased recoil on the PD-57. Well, you know, people are just going to move to other SMGs, so it's not going to matter. I'm going to surmise that if you want to rush with the SMGs, you are going to have to do something different. And I've been, I posted this in my very first videos. If you go back, and I'm not going to cover it now, but I will later in how to make the SMGs. See, this is where I will get clever. I will go back and make new videos coming up to show you based on these reductions and nerfs, how to make the SMGs a rush weapon again. This is this is going to be great because this is going to change really quick. But I'm going to show you how to flip the script on these nerfs. So let's go ahead and get into the assaults and whatnot. All right, so let's talk about the assault rifles here. All reduce idle sway for, for, more, redu for more reliable long-range aiming. So all are going to be reduced in idle sway, which, you know, you can shoot people like a sniper long distance. Uh, XMA reduce lethal range of a three hit kill from 250 to 50 inches. Ouch, that's a big reduce. Uh, increased recoil for the XMA. They just basically destroyed the XMA. So it doesn't matter. Like I said, like I said in my previous videos, and uh and, and and why do you use the type 25 the type 25 is exactly like i said is going to be better than the x8 now uh the xma i've said this and now this buff even makes my video more important you need to go back and watch the type 25 replace the xma with a type 25 you'll be fine um uh, the, the fail the select fire increase recoil it doesn't matter because if you're shooting long distance targets, you're just going to switch to single shot. That's that's irrelevant. I mean, a SWAT 556 increased recoil with select fire. Um, now that's that's now that's kind of messed up. The SWAT 55 was a nice find with the automatic select fire. Now it's been taken away. What this what this shows is that this wasn't done based on uh you uh, based on data from um, Treyarch. This was based on them watching specific videos because nobody was using the SWAT 556 selector automatic. I mean, I was probably the only person using it. I mean, how much more specific can you be about that? It's so retarded. I mean, that was a good find on a weapon. They should have left that alone. 
M tire made auto aim values consistent with all other assault rifles, which make which might make it more relevant. Maybe not. A sniper rifle is a little wild. Let's see this one. All increased hip fire spread. So no more of this fucking excuse my language shooting off the hip like a shotgun and killing people. All laser sights increased hip fire spread. Obviously, nobody uses that anyway. They just zoom in. XPR 50 increased recoil slightly. You know, you don't see anything. You see all the all the nerfs on everything else, but the snipers don't have anything about decreased aim, decreased ADS by 750 milliseconds. What it, what it should say, decreased ADS, uh, decreased ADS by 750 milliseconds, and should say mobility increased by uh, 10 percent. It should be the, the the mobility should be at uh, 90 with the sniper like the LMGs, but they're not. Those those are two specific things that you know you can tell between the the fixes that the game is going to be slowed down and that they were geared towards the SMGs and the salt videos and not datum. You know this is kind of a uh, a slighted nerf and buff anyways regardless i mean the only thing that they buffed in their assault rifles is idle sway for long range i mean come on well, like what you took away burst firing from the X xma what's the point of using the idle sway who cares all right so how much i mean how, what weapons are going to compete if you take away recoil from a select fire on a fell with a sniper rifle there's nothing that can compete with a sniper rifle now because you've nerfed that. So there you go. You got one shot foul against a sniper rifle. One shot. Guess, guess who's going to win? You're not going to win. All right. Uh, shotguns. Reduced one hit kill range by 45 inches. What is that? You know, they were effective at 30 feet. So, I mean, in um, gaming terms, 45 inches, I mean, that's a lot. I mean, basically, you nerfed the shotguns down to nothing. Pistols. <clears throat> B23R reduced headshot multiplier from 1.4 to 1. I agree on that. <clears throat> the Cap 40 reduced headshot multiplier from 1.4 to 1. I agree with that. Anyways, it's your boy Fist. Um, next video is coming up. Until next time, peace. I'm out. Link below in the description for the full detailed patch this weekend.